After World War II, the U.S. proposed the Morgenthauer Plan to deindustrialize Germany, therefore dismantling all heavy industry completely or for their mining and other industries to be annexed by other nations. And deindustrialization was born. In The Deindustrialization of America, authors Barry Bluestone and Bennett Harrison propose that deindustrialization is synonymous with disinvestment. Quote, deindustrialization is a widespread systematic disinvestment in the nation's basic productive capacity. Another term I like is creative destruction. The old industrial order undergoes constant transformation to provide the material sustenance for fresh enterprise, and therefore disinvestment or deindustrialization becomes necessary. The 1950s saw a peak of heavy manufacturing in many U.S. cities, such as Youngstown, Ohio, and prosperity for the economy. The 1970s in the U.S. is considered the heyday of deindustrialization, when America saw plant closings in all major Rust Belt cities. However, lack of reinvestment in factory modernization caused the U.S. to fall behind burgeoning countries like Japan, ushering in the deindustrialization period. With no competition during the World Wars, U.S. factory owners chose not to reinvest. In 1980, the top U.S. exports to Japan included soybeans, corn, fur logs, hemlock logs, coal, wheat, and cotton. Japan's top exports to the U.S. were passenger motor vehicles followed by iron and steel plates. The term post-industrial is now often swapped out for the term new economy. In the 1990s, the internet promised economic recovery from deindustrialization and hope for the future, but the dot-com bubble burst in late 1999 and early 2000. By 2001, the dot-com companies burned through their venture capital, never having made a profit. Deindustrialization, a term used to describe the dismantling of a manufacturing based economy. Post industrialism is an economy that is providing more service oriented jobs than manufacturing jobs. It's an economy going from providing goods to providing services. In a post industrial economy, knowledge and ideas are a valued commodity. Agricultural may also replace heavy manufacturing.